You clicked on this video because you want to find out more about half round gutters and are they worth choosing? Let's get started. Okay, as you can see, I have you guys some very nice eye candy. Now it really helps with YouTube's algorithm if you watch the video all the way through. It's called the retention of the video. So to keep your attention, I have these hot chicks in the video while I'm talking about roofing. Now, my name is Zach Blingasop. I'm the owner of a company called Digital Roofing Innovations. I'm a licensed general contractor and roofing contractor in over nine states. I'm also a US military veteran. Let's get started. All right, while the girls are off having fun, we're gonna get serious and talk about half round gutters. Now, the first thing we're gonna talk about is what is a half round gutter? We're gonna talk about where they can be used some of the benefits of half round gutters. Of course, we're gonna talk about some of the disadvantages of half round gutters, and then we're gonna compare them with a K style gutter, and we're gonna sum this up with a conclusion. Look over to the side, we got a lot of notes to go over, so I just wanna make sure that you're getting all the best information. So again, what is a half round gutter? So typically, what a half round gutter is gonna look like is a semi-cylindrical cylindrical pipe, is what a half round gutter looks like, so half of a circle. Now, traditional homes use half round gutters a lot. Now, it's round to design and grace the appeal of older European homes. That's where it got its original start. These were so popular that made their way to the United States from Europe. Most old homeowners opt for half round gutters, especially home restoration. However, there are also several materials to choose from that go well with any exterior. Now, where are half round gutters typically used? Well, typically you're gonna see half ground gutters protect your roof from damages caused by heavy rainfall or snow. So again, along all the eaves of your roof is where you're typically gonna see a half ground gutter used. Now, most of you've probably seen these, you know, over time. Now you, you are gonna see a lot of case style, which has became very popular. It's really easy to spot out again, a half ground gutter because well, it just again, looks like half of a circle. So they're very, very easy to spot. Now, some of the benefits that come with a half ground gutter are their design. Obviously, uh, this is unique and stylish. They look good for a very, very long time. While some people are opting to use a case style now, I have always been a big fan of the look of a, a round gutter or a half round gutter design. I think they look really good and as long as they're installed properly, uh, I don't think that they're gonna be going out of style anytime soon. The functionality of a half ground gutter to me, I, again, I think that the, the functionality of them are great. The case style gutters have square sides that gather a lot of debris and snowfall versus the half ground gutter does not have that necessarily. So again, I think the functionality of a uh, half round gutter is a little bit better when it comes to that because you don't have as much debris that you have to worry about. And again, they are very, very durable. Again, these have lasted the test of time. We've used them for <laughs> centuries at this point. And you know they're just a very good, durable type of gutter system. Now, some of the downsides of half ground gutters is a drainage width. So other gutter types have a greater holding capacity for water, such as always the case with the half ground gutters. They come an average of three inches, which may not keep up with heavy rainfall. During thunderstorms, it's possible for potential damages on your backsplash from the overflow. So if you are in a very rainy area where you're gonna get lots of rain and snow, Sometimes a half round gutter just is not gonna be able to keep up with the amount of volume of rain and then you're gonna have backsplashes on your fascia and then potentially up the shingles or whatever roofing material that you have on your home. So that is an issue. Now, limited availability. Since half ground gutters have lost a little bit of their I don't know, sparkle over the years, they're not as available as, was, as they once were. Now, they are still very widely manufactured and they're very common, you're just not gonna see them as often as you did in the past. And, all right, so lastly is the price. Now, sometimes a half ground gutter can be a little bit pricier. Typically, you're gonna want a seamless design, so you're not gonna have as many options as you are with some of the case style or some of the other type of gutter systems. And there's not always gonna be someone who does a semi uh, or a half round type gutter. It's just not as, as common as it once was, so finding the right type of a uh, gutter company that actually makes a seamless is just not gonna happen as much, and so you are gonna typically pay a little bit more for that. Okay, so we're gonna do a comparison of half round versus case style gutters, which one is better? Now, most of the time you're gonna see on modern homes, you're gonna again see a case style gutter system versus a half round. However, 
If you're restoring an older home or you want your house to look very traditional, I will tell you that in my opinion, a half around gutter system is definitely better for that. Now, again, the availability, you're gonna have to give that to a K-style gutter system just because that's what most people are using now. You can use these both as seamless gutter systems or put them in pieces. Um, so half round gutters, again, are gonna be a little bit less available than what you're gonna see with a uh, half round gutter system. Uh, to me, the usage of a half round a half round gutter is gonna be easier to clean and they're also less likely to clog. So I think the usage is gonna be really good and particularly for areas that do not uh, do not need a, a whole lot of drainage. Maybe you're in an area that does not require a ton of gutters because it just doesn't rain a lot. Uh, so to me, it's kind of a tie in terms of usage, whether you're talking about a semi or a half round versus a K-style, just because the K-style, again, they can handle a larger volume of water and be able to take that away from your roofing system than a half round, but half rounds are a lot easier to clean. So it really just depends on what climate you're in. So when it comes to design, both of them are really great just because K-style gutters resemble that of what you're gonna see on modern homes. So again, modern homes are gonna look better with a K-style gutter system, uh, unless you wanna try something cool with a modern and traditional style and you put the, the half round on it. And then of course, in a more traditional home, you're gonna use a half round. But overall, I'll have to give the design to a K-style gutter system. Um, and so if you, talk about price, availability, design, usage. Overall, a K-style gutter system is probably overall better, except if you're just dead set on getting a half round just to get that more traditional feel. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching the video. We really appreciate it. Guys, if you enjoy the girls or you enjoy our content, please give the channel a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel a lot. If you haven't subscribed to Digital Roofing Innovations and you like our content, please click the red subscribe button below. Now, always at Digital Roofing Innovations, we believe in using a modern approach with traditional values.